special holiday greetings to one and all. It is this time of year when we pause to reflect upon the accomplishments of 2017 and to look forward to the new challenges of 2018. As I reflect upon the past year, I can see that there are many things to be thankful for, though we've had many challenges. The holiday season gives us the opportunity to reflect on how we have lived during the past year and to also make new resolutions for the new year. As I recall, all of the events of 2017, we are a much stronger nation today than when we started in 2017. And if we continue to work together to build St. Lucia, we would have a much better country in 2018. I want to take this opportunity to thank especially the members and staff of the Ministry of Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport and Civil Aviation for the level of support I have received and the commitment of those who have worked hard to be able to accomplish the task that we set out for ourselves. We do have a challenging year ahead of us. Apart from the members of staff, I want to also compliment my colleagues and to wish them all the best for the holiday season. My cabinet colleagues and also my colleague parliamentarians on both sides of the political divide. It is this time of year when we set everything aside and we reflect and we decide on how we are going to do things better in the coming year. I want to wish all my colleague parliamentarians all the best for the holiday season and 2018. <laughs> Et pour mener bon compliment pour saison holiday, pour tout le monde qui a coûté moi à Bouza. Ça c'est un temps là nous qu'a gardé qui ça qui fait à l'année à nous adam. Et aussi nous qu'a gardé qui ça nous qu'a fait à l'année neuf là. Moi je veux oui merci à tout le monde qui travaille ensemble avec moi à ces différents ministères à moi où est-ce qu'on s'abla. Moi aussi je veux oui merci à ces monsieur à Parlement et un cabinet qui travaille ensemble avec nous, ni moun à sous gouvernement et à sous opposition. I also want to take this opportunity, especially to thank my constituents of Castries Southeast. It is with your help that I have been able to represent you in the manner that I have been able to. As I reflect upon the level of support that I receive from the constituents, especially those who pray for me on a daily basis, those who meet me and encourage me to continue the work that I am doing, I am very thankful. And I want to take this opportunity to wish everyone in Castri Southeast all of the best for the Christmas season and a bright and prosperous 2018. Mwen pren l'occasion sa aussi pou wi mestie tout moun an Castries Southeast ki haban si pò di wantan mwen vini an eleksyon. Se bon travay la dat nou ja fè ansanm la, mwen ka wi mestie ou pou sa. Pou tout moun ki ja sipote mwen, espresman se moun nan ki ka predye ban an, e ka enkouraje mwen pou kontine fè bon travay la dat nou ka fè a pa wè sa. San si pò, mwen pa te kay sa fè tout se ba y sa, ek mwen ka wi mestye ou. Mwen ka kwe da, ek mwen ka mande pou bon die beni ou, di wan lestan lane sa, ek pou ba ou an bon lane, an lane a ki ka vini an. To the churches especially, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the pastors and leaders of all the churches within my constituency and the membership of the churches. Because the soul of the nation, the morality of the nation is so dependent upon where our church leaders lead our country. And so 
the work that you have been doing, I want to encourage you to continue to do it. As we go into this festive season, let us remember why we are celebrating. It is a time for reflection and a time when people should be thankful for the love of God towards us as a people and that Jesus came to be the person to show us how to love. Let us practice the love that he showed us. Also, I want to extend these special greetings to all St. Lucians, both here and abroad. Wherever people are and listening to this message at this point in time, I want to wish you God's richest blessings. I want to wish you all the best for 2018. As we reflect and we see 2017 could have been a better year, but we know that life will always have its challenges. I want to pause also to reflect upon my family, to thank my wife in a very special way for the level of support and encouragement that I receive from her all the time. Even when the going is tough and when you've had a challenging day at work that I can go home to a place of peace and rest. I thank her for being who she has been and I want to thank her especially for her prayers and her support. To the extended family, all my brothers, sisters, cousins, loved ones, and even those who are not immediate family, but treat me like family, I want to thank all of you. I would not have been the successful representative that I have been without your support. And I continue to encourage you to continue to pray and support me as we go along. To all people all around the world who may have the opportunity to view this broadcast, I thank you and I encourage you that we would live at peace as much as it depends upon us. Moi ka pran l'occasion sa pou wi mesti fami mwen espressman ek se l'eglise la an pawès mwen pou la priye yo ek pou tout si pò a yo haban di wan tan ki pase. Sans si pò, nou pa te kay sa fè tout sa nou ja fè. Sant Lisi se an plas dat nou tout kontan ek mwen ka wi mesti tout Sant Lisien an tout pawès an la tè a kote yo ye ek pou tout moun ki ka swete tout moun Sant Lisi bon bay nou ka wi mesti ou pou sa. As we bring this year to a close, let us remember it is love that makes the world go round. Without love, we cannot be the persons we ought to be. We cannot be the persons that God wants us to be. Let us love each other and let a true time of peace reign during this holiday season and for the remainder of our lives. God bless you and happy 2018 to everyone. I thank you.